Alrighty, hey guys, this is Think Outside the Cube. Here in front of me we have a 2016 Honda CRV LX, and this represents the bottom of the barrel base model CRV that you can get. Most of your sales for a CRV are going to be your EX and your EXL models. This is mainly for those buyers that really just want a Honda. They want to get into a Honda at the cheapest possible price just for that reliability, that um, peace of mind, and that resale value. And then right next to it we have the complete opposite end of the spectrum. We have the CRV Touring, which um, there's about approximately a $9,000 difference between this model and this model model. And you've got the same powertrain, same 2.4 liter earth streams with the CVT. Um, so that's really $9,000 of feature content that you're getting on the Touring over the, the over the LX. Now coming to our wheels, we are running on Continental Cross Contact tires. These are going to be your 16 inch steel wheels. Of course you can always upgrade these to the, um, you can upgrade these to alloy wheels if you would like to afterwards. Um, for 2016 we do have an SE model and that one is pictured here. The SE model just gives you the privacy glass, the alloy wheels, and then a security system. And so really if you really want the features you've got to go up to an EX. But um, if you if you like the, the idea of getting the cheapest CRV possible but also want some a little bit of curb appeal I guess you could say, a little flashier exterior styling um, or a flashier exterior appearance, you could go for the um, SE which gives you those alloys. But taking a look at the window sticker, we do have white diamond pearl with beige interior 2016 CRV two wheel drive LX. This one stickers for 24,624. And then of course you've got all your BS add-ons right here, dealer marketing. Um, <laughs> why does that come out of our pockets? Question of the day. Pinstripe nitrogen filled tires, wheel locks, and mud guards for a total of 26,240. Now, black door handles and black mirror caps do kind of make the um, the LX do look kind of low rent, but it does look well with the black pinstripe as you can see there. Now coming in, as I said, we do have the beige cloth interior, and it is a very soft premium cloth. It doesn't feel scratchy or anything like that. Six-way manual adjustments. Coming to our door panel, nice padded armrest right here. I'm glad this is black and not beige, so you don't really see any stains or any um, wear. Um, power windows, locks, mirrors, of course. You do have some various storage cubbies. Over here to the left of the steering wheel, we have our Econ button, traction control off, tire pressure monitoring. Coming to our steering wheel, it's a three-spoke urethane-wrapped wheel. We still do have our cruise control, our audio controls, our Bluetooth controls, our intermittent wipers, no variable speeds, and then you have your headlights over there to the left. And looking at your dashboard, it's all kind of black. You do have some soft touch padding right here with contrast stitching, does look nice. Um, your standard head unit with auxiliary USB um, inputs phone, of course, and you're, it's all controlled by that eye mid screen right there. Single zone manual climate controls. And even with this being the LX, every control still has a nice substance feel to it, a nice hefty, um, just a good quality feel behind it. Like even the buttons, the knobs don't feel chintzy. Nice woven headliner up top that's nice and padded. I mean, you cannot say the same thing for a Kia Sorento or a Hyundai Tucson or um, just other vehicles. Even a RAV4 LE feels very cheap inside. It doesn't have soft touch dashboard materials. Um, so I, I really have to commend Honda for keeping the interior materials very high quality even though you're getting the lowest model. CVT transmission right here. We have sport mode and low modes. 12 volt power outlet, some cup holders. Nice padded armrest right here that is black thankfully won't show wear. Look inside of there we do have a 12 volt outlet USB on and auxiliary port. Glove box is still damp that's another point it's very nice and um, we have our wheel locks right there. Closing that back up, manually dimming rear view mirror. We, let's look at our mirror, no vanity light. So you will have to step up to an EX to get that. You do still get your little conversation mirror so you can keep an eye on the kids in the back seat as well as you can store your sunglasses in there. Map lights and um, and that's really all that's right there. Um, if you had a sunroof, your controls would be right there as well. I've always been a big fan of the gauges in this model. I like their three dimensional looks and all that kind of stuff. So coming into the rear seat, of course that same beige cloth is carried through back here as well. This is mainly where all your child seats are going to go, your booster seats. Because let's face it, um, this is the perfect vehicle for a small family um, that has two children, maybe one children, or one child, sorry. And um, just throw these in the back, maybe for the mom that doesn't really want to um, jump into the minivan segment quite yet. Nice padded armrest. 
um, plenty of door storage right here, storage right here, storage right here, power window. Um, no map seat back pockets, so that's kind of an, um, a weird omission, but you still get some rear seat vents to get some air circulation back here. And I still like how you get an armrest with some cup holders. Um, I know some other manufacturers like Ford and others um, make you upgrade to certain packages and trims to give you an armrest. Um, you have four cornering handles up top as well as a nice dome light right there. Gas cap right there. I think it's released inside. I know my Honda it is. And then coming back here, no power tailgate of course, but that is available. You do have um, plenty of cargo room. The load floor is very small. You do have your floor mats back here. And of course you can pull these levers right there to fold down at your second row of seats to expand cargo room. Up top, you do have a nice grab handle. And then underneath your floor, you still do get a nice spare tire and jack, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, some manufacturers do pay, make you pay extra for that or just don't even offer it. I'm looking at you, Kia and Hyundai. And then lifting your seat back up is very easy. Just fold it right there. And that spring actuated. That, that noise was just the, the metal on the seat belt hitting the metal on the door. But really, that's about it. I mean, we could take a look under the hood, but we all know what the 2.4 Earth Dreams looks like, so there's really nothing special under there. But thank you guys for watching this quick video of a 2016 Honda CRV LX. I hope it was informative and um, it wasn't a waste of your time. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.